Now that I've talked about some tropes that I'm trash for, let's talk about some tropes that I hate. Now this isn't to say that they can't be done well, but seldom do I see these tropes done in a way that I would be willing to read them as an adult. So the first one I'm going to throw under the bus is love triangles, which is funny because this is something I used to like, but now I see it so often that it's just an automatic turnoff for me just 90% of the time. Like, just pick one guy, or at least make both of the guys actually have something going for them aside from looks or prior friendships, because just because you were friends with someone doesn't mean they're a great guy and doesn't mean they deserve to be part of your love triangle. Just saying. Second one, soulmates. If I see anything, anything with soulmates, I will probably want to kill it with fire. I feel like it's been done so much and it also just really gives people unrealistic relationship expectations. Like, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, not a thing. It's not a thing. You choose, like, a person that you get along with and that's kind of like a good friendship, like soulmates. Like, just the implication behind it, I guess, is what I really don't like about it, is like this idea that there's some perfect person, because I don't think that's really realistic, and it's setting unrealistic expectations for the people that are reading it. Third one, abusive relationships, especially when authors like glorify these abusive relationships. As someone who has had a lot of abusive friendships and non-intimate relationships, and even intimate relationships, I'm gonna say hard pass on that. Um, just don't make out an abusive relationship to be okay. It's not okay. Just no. Okay. Anyway, next one. When it's obvious that the author needed a sensitivity reader but did not get one, when they just have really poor either like token representation or they just did it so poorly that you're just like, I would just rather you have not done it at all. I'm going to pull a quote, and I'm kind of paraphrasing a little bit, from an indie author that's going to remain unnamed. And I kid you not, they, I heard, because this was an audiobook, he had anger issues. It must have been because of his Native American heritage. Just, just no. No. And before that, they had said another thing about one of their characters who was black, and I don't remember the exact line, but just hard stop. Please no. Either do your due diligence, or don't do it at all. Like, it's great that you're trying to write outside your experience, but make sure that you're getting someone else that has that experience to look at it, so that way you don't, like, destroy it. Five, when your character, especially your female characters, lack agency or have to be rescued all the time, that damsel in distress, like at least if you're gonna do the whole damsel in distress thing, at least change it up, maybe make the guy get rescued for once or something, like maybe subvert the trope a little bit, you know? All right, sixth one, insta-love, really don't like insta-love, I want it to be like some sort of reasonable build, like a slow burn would be awesome. I really liked Cohen Katza from Graceling and Valak and Yelena from Poison Study. I'm a big fan of like the enemies to lovers and friends to lovers trope, so which would be kind of like my opposite. I don't like when it's just this instantaneous love. It's just not realistic. And the last one I'm going to talk about, I've seen in television shows as well as in books, and it really bothers me when an author writes someone having a traumatic experience or mentions someone having a traumatic experience and is like making it as a reason why this person is a better, stronger person. Life is not like that. That's not how this works. If you're going to show trauma or something traumatic happening, for one, there should be a pretty darn good reason. For two, be realistic about it. 
it's going to affect how they react to certain things in their life and probably traumatize them in some way coming from personal experience don't add some sort of trauma in just for the heck of it no don't do the whole gratuitous i guess unless you're writing like some sort of horror thing gratuitous violence and just like there's also just way too much violence against women in fiction in general both in the tv sphere and the book sphere so i'd really like to see like less of that in literature in general like just be mindful i guess of how you're doing things like that but that's all for today got a little bit ranty there if you liked this video and would like to see more videos like this you can go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel that's all for today bye